Good morning. It is bright and early. <laughs> it's 4.30 a.m. and I'm going to head off to the airport. Okay, I have a coffee. I've been driving for about an hour. My eyes are burning a little bit. But uh, this isn't going to help me because this is decaf. I love coffee. I have like two a day. But I quit coffee for about a week or minimally like four days before I go so that when I travel, as soon as I hit the destination, then I can have my coffee and then it kicks in a bit stronger than it has previously. The first time I did this, it worked a treat and I remember I was in LA with a bunch of other YouTubers uh, at the YouTube space with the Auntie Donna boys, if any of you guys know them, and Sketchy, and uh, how to cook that, and uh, on the first day there, by 2 p.m., they were all just shutting down, and just like, brrr, like, I'm gonna go up to the room and have a nap, and then like, just out, and then their sleep pattern is ruined. So the first thing I do is I quit coffee, I have it when I get there, and then the second thing is I always push through to my normal timing immediately. So even if I'm tired by like 5 p.m., 6 p.m., just push through to nine or 10 and then sleep and then you're good. Then like I'm always from there like totally on track. I just checked in my bag and the lady at the desk asked me if I have a Galaxy Note 7. So I guess they ask people that now in case they can expect exploding phones and devices on their planes. So I always like to get here early. So I'm here two hours early now and I have time to kill and this is where I kick into my traveling work mode, right? I have a drawing book, I have my phone and I have my Cintiq companion. So I edit my vlogs on my phone, I draw and I'm gonna be working on my coloring in book which I plan to release before Christmas on my sketch pad and then I'll be editing and, um, and just some general work on my Cintiq companion. It's always different because when I'm traveling with my family or, you know, with the baby or whatever, your focus is on making sure everyone's comfortable and everyone's traveling experience is good. When I'm traveling for business, I kick into the mode of getting as much done as possible because the only thing I need to do when I'm not working is sleep and eat. So on this flight, I'm going to be aiming to be as productive as possible. Uh, also keep in mind that this is my first real attempt at just vlogging as much as I can but in a very public scenario and while I'm alone because when I'm traveling with my family and stuff I can vlog and it's a bit easier because it's like you're making little family videos when you're on your own and you set up a camera and you're talking into a microphone in a public place you look like an idiot fortunately there's no one around at the moment so I'm a little more confident doing it but still Anyways, it feels a little bit weird, but um, it's something I know I need to push past. The more I do this vlogging stuff and the more, you know, stuff I do in different places and at different events, I need to be able to push past that. So I'm going to try and be brave and, and desensitize myself to it. Wish me luck. some final touches to the slideshow and uh, made my changes that I needed to make. Now it's time to turn that into my note cards for the presentation. I'm resorting to vlogging in a tiny aeroplane bathroom <laughs> because it's so embarrassing when you're like in such tight confines with people and yeah, it's... I'm not naturally good at, at doing that. Like I'm not I Justine. It's so weird, because the reason I started the vlog wasn't to, well, it definitely wasn't to vlog in an airplane toilet. <laughs> but it, it wasn't to be on camera and, and, you know, be seen by people or around people or whatever. Um, it was to share the stories and the work and all that stuff. And like, I feel, it's so confronting, man. I have to get used to it, because like, you know, I've got this big event coming up and stuff, so I'm gonna have to be brave, so. But just know that if I'm vlogging in a public place, I'm putting myself out there and trying to share as much of the stuff with you as I can. Stuff that hopefully isn't as uninteresting as this. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna take a dump.
So we've well and truly reached the point in the flight where pretty much everyone's fallen asleep. Uh, I've wrapped up the work that I needed to do on the flight and I've done a little bit of extra other stuff as well. So yeah, I've converted my whole talk to palm cards so I can rehearse with those. Um, and another little useful tidbit that I use when flying is to bring a change of comfy clothes to change into when you sleep. So you don't wake up a sweaty mess and have to wear crappy clothes that you're really uncomfortable in for the rest of the whole trip. Anyway, I'm gonna get some shut eye myself if possible and uh, maybe enjoy a little bit of in-flight entertainment. My body clock is on about two in the morning and it's currently seven in the morning here in California. So got to readjust now. I'm past airport security. Man, it's brutal here in the States. It's like really full on. Anyways, off to my gate. I am like so intimidated by being in international airport. I think I'm gonna call it a day for the vlog guys. My flight to San Diego is about to take off. So I'll finish off here and then the next vlog will pick up where I land in San Diego and uh, all the excitement from there because I'm actually meeting two familiar faces in San Diego, Will Terrell and Proko. And then after that, I'm also catching up with people at the Adobe. There's a bit of a, a little VIP get together tomorrow, well actually tonight. I'm just thinking in terms of vlog days. Anyways, I'll see you then.